Good morning! Welcome to Morning Call for Wednesday, the 9th of January 2019. My name is Fab um, and I'm bringing you today's tech news from Hamburg where, surprise, it's grey and um, we still we still have a bit of storm here so um, the planes in Ham at Hamburg Airport are in a different landing pattern and they're almost landing on my head all morning. Um, luckily, I have very, 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 very thick windows, so um, you shouldn't be able to hear that. Anyway, let's get into the tech news for the day. Um, the first news I have here uh, might be of interest to Windows users because apparently Microsoft is changing the way updates work in Windows 10. Um, for a while, they had update problems. There's lots of uh, stuff happening. Um, quite horrible actually for them and um, one of the problems has been that um, if a Windows system doesn't have enough um, hard drive space to install updates then there's all kinds of weird problems happening so what they apparently doing now is they're reserving um, space um, at least seven gigabytes so the next version of Windows 10 um, so this, this uh, you know, this is the 1903 version, so it should be out in about March um, of this year, actually. So in a, in about a month or two, two or three, I don't know, depending on yeah, two months roughly. Um, last one was last one was a bit late, so this will reserve hard drive space um, at least seven gigabytes, maybe a bit more. Um, that you won't be able to use for anything on your computer because Windows is keeping that to um, just put put downloads there um, for updates it wants to install. Um, it's not unused space though, Microsoft is saying, so they will put apparently put temporary files there that... Um, would get deleted temp uh, uh, you know would get deleted a lot of the time anyway especially when you're doing an app upgrade so it'll put temp files there and then when it downloads new stuff i guess it'll just automatically get rid of the temporary files um this will undoubtedly uh still cause an all outrage with windows users who uh you know are not in control of their whole hard drive anymore i'm guessing um, speaking of uh, control, Windows 10 and user outrage, apparently, um, so with Windows uh, 10, uh, you might you might remember um, Microsoft had started to automatically upgrade systems um, without, um, you know, they they had a like a. A, a Windows 10 upgrade from Windows 7 and 8 that didn't cost anything and they were they were rolling out Windows 10 in some cases without really like asking people just like basically pushing the update to their system um, which caused a lot of complaints and there's actually people who went uh, to court against Microsoft and said um, you can't do this um, we want we want money now. You caused you you caused problems with our systems. Um, one one of uh, the guys who did this was somebody in Finland, 
and uh, there was a there was a court case about this now. So he apparently had a like a Windows 8 system with security cameras, and then um, Windows 10 was installed, and the the camera software didn't work anymore. Um, and he went to court and said, I, I had to buy new cameras. I want 3,000, uh, well, it's a German story, so it says 3,000 euros. I don't know what, what that would be in Finland. I don't even know off the top of my head what kind of currency they have in Finland. Um, anyway, um, so he, um, the this went into arbit arbitration as a, like a consumer disputes board. Um, oh, uh, I'm just getting told by the, by Twitch that they have euros in Finland. I can't keep this straight, you know, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, it's all, it's, you know, they don't have the euro, some have the euro, some are getting the euro at some point, it's just, why don't, why don't everybody just have the euro, that would make everything a lot easier. Anyway, so yes, he wanted 3,000 euros, um, and so, th so this consumer disputes board is kind of like a mediation thing, it's not legally binding, but, um, usually companies and microsoft will often like with these out of court settlements they prefer out of court settlements um because they don't they don't want to have a like a, a legally binding case and whatever anyway so so this this dispute board says yeah he'll he's getting some money um but they said the money is too high microsoft a, a, apparently in this court case never um never disputed that he was entitled money they just said he wanted too much um, so now he's he's getting a thousand euros apparently, um, so that that's quite interesting. Um, speaking of legal legal things, there uh, has been a court uh, a court in Germany has decided that domain registrars um, are responsible for um, copyright uh, violations on domains. So this is a case. Uh, with the Pi Pirate Bay, uh, so Pirate Bay domains that were registered with the registrar in Germany, um, who, uh, copyright holders sued the registrar because they said you knew that the Pirate Bay was distributing uh, copyright infring infringing content and you didn't suspend the domain. And so far, <clears throat> um, we would have thought that, you know, the, you know, the registrar is not responsible for that. But there have been some case, some um, court decisions, and they have now been up, up, upheld. Um, so uh, this, this goes back to an or, uh, original um, decision by the Oberlandesgericht Köln, so a um, major court in Cologne. Um, and it now seems that in Germany, uh, registrars are now responsible for copyright infringement um, if they have been notified. So. Uh, if the uh, registrar is notified by the, by a copyright holder that that domain is like in, there's copyright infringement on the domain, they have to uh, suspend the domain, I guess. Which oh god, this is gonna lead to all kinds of trouble. Um, I mean, the it's it's shitty for the registrars because I mean you can you have like lots of spurious copyright claims. I mean I had him. I have like music that I've uh, cleared with the rights holder <laughs> to use for, let's say, YouTube uh, video, and I put it in the YouTube video, and I get a copyright claim by some other <coughs> person who thinks they own the rights or some algorithm thinks they own the rights, and then you have to clear that up, and it's just like copyright is not cut and dry. This is just going to be lo loads of problems uh, around that. Um <coughs> Yes, as as uh, Pepper Johnny says in in Twitch chat, registrar will just drop you, um, we'll probably just drop the domain in on dro at the drop of the hat because it's less than figuring out. Although that's gonna be all you know, that's all kinds of other problems. Then, then you can just like get <laughs> get domains of the internet by saying, oh, I own that, I own something that's on that domain. Bam. Uh, this is gonna be trouble. Speaking of trouble. Um, it it looks like um, shipping firms uh, are being uh, attacked by whaling. Uh, so this is, oh God, you know, this f spear phishing, fishing, whaling, dynamite fishing, all this kind of, this kind of terms. So whaling uh, is another term for uh, business email compromise, BEC or uh, CEO fraud. So these are basically fishes that don't go after, um, 
and then they don't go uh, just just fire off phishing mails at everybody or even a specific at a company they they are specifically going after CTOs uh, CFOs C level executives who they know have the right to transfer huge, huge amounts of money or maybe their secretaries so there's there's usually these attacks will work uh, you know they they hacked they will hack something in in some email account or computer in the company then you know do lateral movement um try to get up to the um to the ceo there or the target they're attacking then once they own their they're inside their email uh, account they will see what the ceo is doing because i mean you mail everything in a company so oh he's going on holiday so then once he's on holiday um they will mail like their secretary or some somebody else in the company say well I'm, you know pretending to be the ceo f maybe from their email account going oh i'm i'm here and something something's come up and we need to send money to this company or like people lose their jobs what whatever like it's 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 urgent it's dangerous and then they will get like huge amounts of money transferred to uh to to you know the attacker will get it to their account and then they run away with the money this apparently uh, is currently happy happening with the shipping industry um there were some reports by pentest partners which is a it security uh consulting company um and yeah this this uh this looks bad um it's like these attacks are really bad because you, they can get a lot of money um yeah c level executives as in <laughs> nautical joke there from nicholas who's from Van baden württemberg i should be making here i'm 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 the i'm the uh, nordic guy nordish by nature i should be making the nautical joke um okay let's get into cs news um there there has been some interesting stuff at cs uh now, finally, something I was interested in is uh, Lenovo has unveiled a huge widescreen gaming monitor, 43.4 inch. Uh, it's a uh, 32 by 10 display. This looks great. Um, downside is it's, how much is it? Uh, $1,200. But, you know, this is, this is the stuff I want to see. And then also something else that I found this... Uh, uh, I found this really uh, ridiculous. Um, what what the chat saying? <laughs> Wait a couple of decades and we'll have ocean access as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah. So so another thing I saw at CS. This this, this is also great. Um, PC gamer called this ridiculous, and uh, they were quite right. So somebody built a PC case um, that has clear LCD. So it's a it's a it's basically. Uh, uh, you know um, a tower pc case and on on all all four sides you, you know it's it's roughly uh it, it it's roughly um i, I want to keep saying spheric spherical it's not spherical it's uh, uh it's roughly well it's it's square like it's 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 roughly square from the top and there's four displays on the side which have uh, transparent ink so you can see uh, a transparent um i think they ink displays transparent displays so they can they have animations on the displays and inside is like all the hardware and that's lighted and you can see that well so far so good that's quite involved but to to show you all the four displays it's now rotating as well now <laughs> this is a prototype uh, it's like um, you can't buy this but they want to actually sell these uh, and there's actually some design challenges you have to solve now because your pc case is rotating um so where do you put the <laughs> where do you put the connectors and they're all in the base but the problem is you can't use like normal cables to connect like, like the 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 connector thing in the base uh with the actual pc case because it's rotating so how did they solve this they solved this by uh using technology so this this pc is called the snowblind x4 by the way um they use this by uh, by using technology from wind turbines, which, as you might know, have a rotating top that rotates with the wind and then like a base, but there need to be data connections there. So, so wind turbines have a copper rings that transmit signals over these rings um, from the base to the to the top bit while the thing's rotating, and they use technology for that for this from that for this PC case. Isn't that ridiculous? It is ridiculous. Um, I just thought. That was an interesting story. Next story from CES. 
um, a company uh, called a, a designer called oh god what was their name again Laura Di Carlo well that's the company the designer is called Laura Haddock um, has designed a vibrator which um, is quite innovative it's it has some kind of like it it molds itself to the body so you don't have to hold it now this at first was going to win an innovation award at CES. And then they pulled that award and told the company, no, you can't exhibit, exhibit this thing. And then they were saying, oh, well, you know, we have like our rules say that you can't have, let me quote this, immoral, obscene, indecent, profane uh, content at the show. So they pulled, they said, you can't, you can't show this vibrator. Now, at the same show, apparently they had a female sex robot on stage. And, um, you know, my ex-colleagues at Heiser were running around uh, CES at the moment, um, writing about this quite a lot. And apparently there's still, like, VR porn. It's not a problem, but, you know, vibrators can't have vibrators. No, 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 no. Yeah, so that's uh, CES now has their first sexism scandal, I guess. Anyway, yeah, there has to be a scandal at every trade show, I guess, this this, this year's. Um, in other tech news, Ubuntu Touch uh, OTA 7 is released. I just found this quite interesting. Um, so this is the UB ports uh, community. They're still working on, on Ubuntu Touch and they're still the supporting devices like the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 7 from 2013. That's actually quite interesting. Um, I actually had a, had a look at what... I haven't looked at Ubuntu Touch. I, I thought it was dead. I hadn't looked at this for ages, but apparently... Um, they are ge generally they're supporting the Fairphone 2, the Nexus 5, which I guess I still have one of those lying around. It's broken though because it's a bloody Android phone and the hardware is shit. Um, or the uh, OnePlus One. Um, so interesting. Um, Ubuntu Touch still around. The community is still supporting that, and uh, until the last device that you can run that on, finally finally dies um <laughs> i i love okay this is uh <laughs> twitch chat says if the prudes could not interfere and let the rest of us have fun that'd be great yeah especially this is fucking las vegas right this is sin city come on it's f uh. oh i have a windows update uh, should, have turned the, should have turned the sound off there <laughs> Oh, actually, no, that was an Adobe app, app update. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> hope it doesn't shut my computer down. No, um, Yeah, so, uh, you know, Sin City, but, like, you can't have vibrators. What the hell? Anyway, um, that, that about wraps it up for uh, today's tech news. I do have, because uh, I, I do this kind of things, I do have a funny story, though. Or, I don't know, I found this quite amusing. So, um the oh oh cookie warning yes okay yes 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 you can track me um the police why the police want wants to track me what could possibly go wrong um the police uh, german police in brandenburg uh, which is a federal state famous in germany for um having a song that basically well that there was a song written about it that basically goes brandenburg wants to go there there's nothing there it's like outside berlin it's like the this the the, the circle around berlin um, so they, uh, <laughs> they are looking for a guy, uh, they have a cyber fandung, cyber fandung, and the cyber fandung, so fandung is, uh, yeah, uh, a bolo, basically, so they're, 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 like, looking for this guy, and they're looking for him by his MAC address, so, um, so there is a guy who, uh, apparently, uh, extorted money, uh, from DHL, um, so there was a, I think these are the the, the cases where um, uh, what was it? Was this? I can't remember. Um, um, I think they were like they were saying they're gonna they're gonna put bombs in packages or something. But anyway, they, they're looking for this guy, and then they have his MAC address. So if you know somebody with the MAC address F eight, this is important. Write this down. F eight. E zero seven nine AF five seven E B. That's Foxtrot eight Echo zero seven niner 
Alpha, Foxtrot, 57, Echo Bravo. If you know anybody with that MAC address, please contact the police in Brandenburg. Um, they will be happy to uh, to find people. So they also want to know people whose routers, router logs have that MAC address in it. Uh, who can who can give any information about this MAC address? Um. <laughs> Isn't that isn't that isn't that amazing? Isn't that great? I I, I love that. They're, they're looking for MAC addresses now. <laughs> they're also uh, they're also telling you how to log into your router, and then uh, you know look look for MAC addresses. <laughs> I mean, have they heard about have, have they heard of MAC address spoofing? Um, I'm not quite actually. You should have looked into this. I mean, you can tell a lot by the MAC addresses, like um. You know, you can get the manufacturer of the device and whatever. Um, maybe you should. Can we can we do this live on the show? Okay, Mac address lookup. Let's see. I've never I've never done anything. MacVendors.com and enter a Mac address. Let's let's do this. Let's see if we can help. If we can help the the Polizei Brandenburg live on the show here. Okay. Oh yeah, Motorola. Oh, I actually said that. It's the Motorola device. They know that much anyway. Ah, sorry. Shit. A Lenovo company. Maybe maybe it's a maybe it's a ThinkPad. Maybe they're looking for a Linux kernel developer. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I just thought that that was that was hilarious and and fun and and uh, just great. Anyway, um I hope you have a have a nice day. Um, keep a lookout for that MAC address. Um, we want to help the Polizei Brandenburg uh, find this guy, and uh, you know you 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 can contact me at on Twitter uh, at Fab Foxtrot Alpha Bravo Sierra Hotel uh, if you have if you have <laughs> seen any suspicious uh, MAC addresses. And uh, until then, have a great day, and uh, I'll I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, the sun's coming out. The sun. I'm, I I I almost there's there's a hole in the I see blue sky. This is the first on the show. Anyway, have a have a great day and uh, enjoy. I'll, I'll 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 see you around. See you tomorrow for more tech news. Bye.